Hello. Okay, so, um, the ethical news article that I picked was called Parents Fight to Record Son, uh, Son's School Day with Disabilities, written by the Associated Press. Um, and pretty much this story is about, it's a, a main teen who has autism, who's a teenager, um, and he also has a neurological disorder which affects him speaking, so he's not able to speak. So, uh, one day, uh, this student, they don't say his name because he's a minor, uh, came home from school and he was very upset. And because he can't talk, the parents wanted to know why. So they went on this quest. They petitioned the school to allow him to wear a recording device uh, so that they can record his day to day interactions and making sure he isn't being uh, abused. So the school denied their request, saying that it would violate the privacy of all the other students. Um, and then and the parents said that because he has disabilities, it's against the Americans with Disabilities Act to not uh, allow him to do this because he can't speak. So, um, long story short, the parents went to, went to court, um, and this was in the court for, I'd say, two years. Uh, and this is actually a 2017 article. So at, at this point, it's in the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Boston, um, and... It really uh, came down to, so the stakeholders in this are the parents um, who want their son to be safe in school and wear the device, making sure that, you know, no one's being mean to him, people are treating him right. Uh, obviously the student in question, uh, because wearing the device uh, will change the way that he operates in school. You know, it either will keep him safe, but also mean people will, will be careful when they talk to him, won't, won't, won't want to... Uh, talk to him, uh, the school, because they believe it infringes on the other students' privacy rights, and if they allowed this, then other parents would get angry, and that would not end up being good for them, and obviously the students, because they probably don't want to be recorded without their permission, even if it is the good uh, for one student. So, um, what this comes down to is if the needs of one individual should outweigh uh, the needs and privacy of others. It is a tough ethical decision because on one hand you have a student who's disabled and can't talk and might be being mistreated, but you also have um, the option to help him greatly will greatly affect uh, the other students and the teachers uh, where he'd be going to school. So it brings into question not only if the Americans with Disabilities Act uh, is being followed in this case, but it also brings into uh, into fact, if this is a violation of privacy for, you know, these parents to be able to wire their kid up and they can hear everything that's going on. So the question here is, that pertains to classes, would the school lack integrity if they sit by and potentially allow for this kid to be bullied and he can't say anything? Or they lack integrity uh, if they put the needs of one student, even with a disability, over uh, the many students they have in the school? Uh, so for me, I did think about this, um, but I really think that while I do feel for the parents uh, in their quest to make sure the child is safe at school, I have to agree with the school. Um, it well, it would it would help the kid probably. It wouldn't really help the kid. It would help the parents, and it would probably make people avoid the poor kid because they don't want to risk getting in trouble. Um, I think the school is inclined to put the privacy and the rights of the majority of the students over one person, even if that person has a disability, uh, which obviously is a tough choice, but privacy rights are a big issue, especially now. Um, and the school, especially being a public school, needs to prioritize uh, the needs of the many st students, the whole student body, uh, over that of uh, one child. So, thank you for listening. Uh, to my article, and yeah, have a good night.